YouTube. I'm coming from you from in my kitchen. Lord, I can't talk today. So, you guys know my kitchen is teeny tiny. I have I just hung these up. I don't think I saw, showed that in my kitchen downstairs kitchen tour. But this is my downstairs kitchen, so it's really dark. So sorry about the lighting. I have potatoes boiling for mashed potatoes, and then I will do some corn in a minute. My rag for wiping off my bar and all my spills, and then a spoon. And my cleaner for water spills. But anyway, this video is about meatloaf, so let's get at that. So I have my hamburger meat in here, and it's just, you know, it's still kind of half frozen. But it's okay, because for the most part, it's thawed out. But um, I just kind of want to show you what I do to fix my meatloaf. And I forgot to grab the cracker, so I'm going to have to get that in a second. But I throw in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, maybe a lot of Worcestershire sauce. I like my Worcestershire sauce. And this is two pounds of ground beef is what I have in the bowl. And so, as you can see, it's just the Kroger brand Worcestershire sauce. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Then, next is Tony's Creole seasoning. We like our stuff spicy around here. Um, it's not open very good, apparently. Let me... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Now well then, I don't want to get too crazy with that because my next ingredient is hot too and I should have taken the lid off of this first. Just a second here, I'm going to have to set you down. Okay, sorry about that. So that's may get edited out, I don't know. Okay, thank you, son. Put them on the table and then come here for just a second. So, I guess I could show you what I'm putting in there. It is, um, well, maybe I could show you. Mild chili powder. Just any brand. This is, I think, the like, best choice. But I just take a, a little pinch and put that in there. Maybe two pinches since it is a big. But that's like my secret ingredient that I'm telling you guys about. So shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> I put an egg in. You set this out. No, can you please get me the package of crackers out of the cabinet over there, please? I'm not doing yet, no. Well, get me the crackers first real quick, please. I'm going to go ahead. This is going to be really loud, so oh, yeah. I'm going to try to turn the volume Those down. In the white cabinet, son. While I do this, so I'll try to turn you down so you don't have to hear the KitchenAid mixer running. Hmm. It's not going to let me turn it down, but... Um, I may fast forward through this part so you won't have to hear it anyway, so. Here, here, here. Thank you. Okay, so we got all that stuff mixed up now. And you're thinking, well, what's going to hold it together? Well, nothing yet. Because <laughs> I haven't put the crackers in. But I like to get my stuff kind of good and mixed up before I add my crackers in to get it to uh, stick together. So let's see here. No, but Ryan has brought me my crackers. Let's see if I can cut these up here. Ooh, that was a big chunk there. I'm not real worried about getting them really crunched up because this mixer will do a lot of the crunching for me. A lot of people, when they make their meatloaf, do it by hand. The All the mixing, like you put your fingers in it and get your hands dirty. And I like to get my hands dirty. I'll put my fingers in it a little bit, but uh, I have this big mixer. I, I really wanted it. It was something I had to save. And finally, after saving and saving and saving, got it for Christmas. Just a minute, son. And uh, so that I, I saved to get the attachments for it. But, um, so this is like my pride and choice. I use it a lot. So, now I got, let me see, a good amount of crackers in there. And they're they're pretty yeah. crunched up. I'll so, make sure to wash one of those cups. Please. So, now I'm going to go ahead and put that back in there. Lock it in place. And then I'm going to turn it on, slow it first. And then send it to the moon. Okay. I guess it 
helps if I unlock it. Now I have my big old clump and as you can tell it's really starting to stick together now. So I'm going to pull it all off of the mixer piece. So I've gotten a good deal of it off, and you can see it, it's sticking, well, maybe you can see it, it's sticking together here really nicely. So, as my things are handy for me here in this kitchen, this cabinet down here houses my, sorry, my phone is plugged up, and I'm trying to tape on my phone. So this houses my meatloaf pans, so Paula Dean. And another great thing about the Paula Dean is you don't have to spray it or anything. You can't use any kind of cooking oils on it. So I don't have to spray it or anything like that. I'm just going to... Oh, I'm going to move it over here next to my bowl. And then I'm going to take... And start... Good job, son. Thank you for washing dishes for me. So now I've gotten a good deal of it in there, and it's pretty well cleaned the bowl. Not that I'm leaving any extras or excess to be thrown out. And we don't really have any scraps. I mean, our scraps don't like go in the trash can or anything like that. Um, we have chickens here, so and we have a dog. So, the scraps will get used. And you know what? I didn't put my ketchup in there. But that's okay, because my husband doesn't like a lot of excess ketchup in his. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the ketchup out of the refrigerator. And that's right here next to me. I tell you, everything is so handy in this kitchen. But the only reason it's handy is because it's so small. Do this with the right hand over here. I'm going to add a little extra on top since I didn't put any in it because I was just not thinking. I don't know why I was thinking. And then I just, yeah, see, I told you I like to use my fingers too. <laughs> I'm going to smear it all on. Good and cold it all the corners because it. I mean, this is gonna shrink. Okay. Okay, you can drain the water out. You can hear my son in the background. He's doing dishes. Okay, let's come over here. I'll show you. I'm going to about 350. A little bit between 350 and 375. Because I'm going to cook it for just an hour. And then you can see the inside of my dirty, dirty stove. It has not been cleaned in a while and it needs to be cleaned. So I'm going to put that in there. And I'm going to cook for about 45 minutes to an hour. And while that's cooking, I'm going to clean up my mess. And you can see my potatoes are boiling. I will let those boil for about 30 minutes, then they'll be nice and good and soft. And after about 30 minutes, um, when my potatoes are really starting to get soft, I'll get my corn out and put it on. So that's going to be our supper tonight, mashed potatoes, corn, and meatloaf. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I probably won't come back on. I'll be so busy fixing the corn and the potatoes and getting the supper out and on the table and the kids in the bed. So I probably won't come back and show you the final product, but just cook it for 45 minutes and then serve. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Okay, guys. So I decided I would do a little snid bit after and show you what everything looked like because I do have a few minutes here while I wait on Matt to get home before we start feeding the kids and things. So, um, we like our uh, ketchup a little extra done. So you can see it's a little extra done around the edges. And it's a little spot in the middle. And this is my famous homestyle corn. This is straight off the cob. 
we cut it off every summer and we freeze enough to last us till we have more to cut off. So I think we put up like 128 pints for two families this year. And then get their screaming outside and their playing tag, I think. There's my mashed potatoes and they're good and steaming hot. So I'm gonna leave everything here all covered up on the stove until Matt gets home because the oven is too hot to put it back in or else I would put it in the oven to keep it warm. But there's my meatloaf. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little frog in my throat there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this cooking video, um, like it below. Just do, click on the little thumbs up below. And I'll do some more um, cooking videos. I think that um, I'm going to do sauerkraut and smoked sausage and peas and uh, mashed potatoes for supper tomorrow. So if you like this video, go ahead and like it and I will post that video as well. And maybe every night I can just kind of do little snippets of what I cook when it's not repetitive. Because like we have pork chops three times a week. You don't want to see me fix barbecue pork chops three times a week. But when I fix something that I haven't posted before, I'll post it and get it up here for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good night.